Okay, Commissioner uh, Marshall had brought up uh, to discuss an idea on local enterprise opportunity <coughs> zones or OCGA 36-88-783 for <laughs> Naylor. Mr. Marshall, you got some information you'd like to share with us? Uh, to be honest with you, um, uh, when I initially embarked on the idea, and I was just considering the, the Naylor area, but after doing research, uh, I looked and I uh, discovered all, uh, I looked at all the cities and counties that uh, are currently enrolled in, and it happens to have a city of Austin, in which they recently got uh, approved, uh, I want to say it uh, says, June 23rd, 2013. And basically what it is, it's a way to incentivize businesses and development within a particular community or county or what have you. And so, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, an issue, uh, an issue where the state will give tax relief and tax abatements, relief and so forth, I think up to $3,500 per uh, employee for new businesses in a particular area. And I think, when I think about the Lake Park Park used to be, they can utilize uh, some development or opportunity zones as well as the Naylor area, and more especially the city of Wild uh recently has it, and it's specifically just what the city areas look like on this map, but this is what they were approved for. I want to balance the scale of uh, the businesses uh, being attracted to our towns, in a sense. Because uh, personally, I like to see a Kentucky Cheese or a David Buster or or something in the, in the county areas, or Carabas or something. You know, we got nice unincorporated areas you know, that we can utilize some businesses, and if we can incentivize them to come here, I think that'd be a good thing for our tax digest. Now, it not only affects uh, new businesses coming to town, also existing businesses within a county. Like if you want to expand your business to another portion of the county, and it's a new facility, new employees, and so forth, a uh, business owner also qualifies for those types of practices. Uh, tax credits as well, to my understanding. So I just see it uh, as a way of uh, letting the playing field with incentivizing businesses. Yes. I just want us to consider that. The only thing that I think um, we might be looking at with this, uh, I know we're talking about short term and long term, um, the, I, I want to say the qualifying period begins January 31st or something like that. I'm not sure on the dates that it's got to be present to the Department of Community Affairs. Uh, so if we could lock that down, if, if the date is prior to our retreat, uh, I would hope that we could possibly have the data that we need, at least for the application. Yeah. Let, let me tell you kind of what my thought, and you've touched on just about all of those issues. And one is you see, um, and I'm not 100% sure about this particular one, but any of these, these um, enterprise opportunity zones, typically find those in your inner city areas where you have a blighted area um, that that you're trying to clean up and you're trying to get that area improved and by incentivizing uh, industry and or the, 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 the home building for example community can come in there and, and race watch there and rebuild back uh, sometimes you have to incentivize investors and incentivize developers uh, to take that step because sometimes I mean, that's a big step to go into some of those areas and say yes we can we can put something new in there and breathe life back into it so it's, it's a difficult thing now when you take that picture from an inner city and trying to build out a blighted area you then have to take that model and say okay is there anything in the county that in the unincorporated areas of Lowndes County that you can see that same scenario of realizing that the unincorporated areas of Lambs County is still fairly rural other than farmland that's been converted into a development or you know home sites so that's that's the issue there uh, I'm not sure that uh, I'm not sure that there's any areas you mentioned later because that really is about the only unincorporated community they are unincorporated community and, and I brought Naylor into, the, yes, into the picture as well because uh, this program also uh, makes it where you know, different technologies such as broadband expansion uh, and uh, internet and so forth in particular areas. So that, that's the, that's why that was my initial thought. But when I went to look into it and went to see the extent of what, um, what it involves, I mean, I think we can look at even the North Battlefield Road aspect of 
And that's why we incorporate the county head now to more veterans. So it's something to think about. Yeah. Well, it is something to think about, but I'm not sure that we can, we can, and, and again, keep in mind, these things come along every, all the time. And I think it's something that you'll find is always going to be kind of in the network of the statutes that you'll have to be able to do this. Sure, are there deadlines to make submit applications and that sort of thing? Yes, we'll have those to meet. But I think even after this, the application date that you're looking at, there's a good opportunity to be another application date you know, as, as their funds are becoming available. Uh, but, you know, I would think that it is worth looking at. I just don't know that once you've looked at it, whether you're actually going to find the application in the unincorporated areas of Lowndes County where the model will fit. That's the only thing that I would have a question about. The, the, I think one of, the, one of the main criteria is if you have a 15% uh, poverty rate, mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the criteria, just like two or three other ones. Uh, and so if you look at the city's map, and when you think about it, they're claiming it for some of these areas, you know, we really got a, a lot more area that we can claim things on. I think once we determine what the criteria is yeah. for an opportunity zone, that'll help us determine whether it's a short or long term goal and that sort of thing. But I'm with the chairman. I think it's something that we should consider. So we can balance the skills more so when it comes to competing for businesses and corporations in Lyons County altogether because they just got approved uh, again for three years, June 26th this year. So something to think about. Mr. Chairman, the staff has already contacted the DCA uh, in relationship to this, and uh, they are forwarding information to us now. I do believe that uh, part of the tax incentive, though, relates to local taxes. Uh, it may be the state as well, but I, I think it was the local taxes and its waivers of uh, some of the requirements uh, for development taxes for occupational tax uh, were the ones that DCA specified in the conversation with us. But we should have additional information probably next week. Okay. Well then, so we'll have enough information then that we can kind of begin to see if there's opportunities for an opportunity zone. Sounds good. That's pretty right. short term. Yeah, yeah pretty short term about yeah. it. That's short. You, get that <laughs> you win the you win the yeah. you win the quickest short this term. Time. Yep, I mean, you get to buy dinner for everybody. Okay, right. okay um, 